वेलकम टू दिस करेंट अफेयर टॉपिक एशियन इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इन्वेस्टमेंट बैंक द मेजर शेयर ऑफ दिस बैंक इज विद द चाइना वॉट वॉज द रीजन बिहाइंड द कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ दिस बैंक वाई दिस बैंक वॉज मेड देर आर ऑलरेडी सेवरल सच ऑर्गेनाइजेशन प्रेजेंट इन द वर्ल्ड सेम लाइक बट दीज ऑल आर डोमिनेटेड बाई इफ द सम बैंक आर डोमिनेटेड बाई यू एस ए सम बैंक आर डोमिनेटेड बाई जपैन सिमिलरली this bank was made to go against those domination and ultimately we are seeing that this bank is going as a domination with the china but this is proving benefit for india as the one third funding of this aiib asian infrastructure investment bank has gone to india 30% development fund came to india where the development of Uh, metros in the bangalore and all has been taken place so moving ahead with this lecture we will see all these topics so this lending bank this aiib that is the asian infrastructure investment bank came into ex existence which is a china led bank for the establishing better and more developed asia when it related to the regional connectivity infrastructure development like if we see that the south asian region is the least connected regions least connectivity is present there if you see in the european part even though lots of war has been taken place but people were able to free uh, that to able to roam on those regions freely because the transportation connectivity was there and still it is there and the more connectivity has been made but if we see if we talk about these regions for the south asia regions we won't find that issues and that's why this uh, sark grouping was formed with the india but this is also getting uh, hampered there is a one trouble that is the pakistan every time pakistan came as a hurdle for such development that's why india is saying that we should develop sark minus pakistan and then we will move ahead for the connectivity from the south asian regions within themselves where the nepal is also a part of it bhutan is also a part of it afghanistan is also a member and all okay so even though that this deal that is aiib was signed on the 25th december 2016 it came into existence in january 2016 and now more than 100 members that is like the japan and usa uh, are not the member of it like if in the 100 members we will see that japan and usa don't have it in in this member because we will see that there is another bank there is another organization which is dominated by japan similarly with the usa as the world bank so so but the countries like france italy germany uk australia are the part of this aiib okay all infrastructure investment bank so what is the india's stake in this bank so india is also a founding member like when this bank was getting formed india was also involved in the founding of this bank so that's why india is also one of the founding member of this bank but few of the major established such institutions in the world are already present like aiib similarly we have world bank similarly we have asian development bank but ultimately this world bank is dominated by usa and this asian development bank is dominated by japan ultimately like if any country wants to take loan or something want help from this bank they have to follow the policies of the usa or the japan so ultimately that country is getting alienated that small country if it is a small country it is not a strong uh, country then these are getting alienated and because of that alienation we came up with aiib in the year 2016 that established established in 2016 but was formed in the 2015 december okay so this kind of situation lead to the alienation of the countries not in the favor of the usa and india is the second largest shareholder of aiib and in this as it is the second founding member like it's also one of the founding member in the bank first is the china and second is the india so goal was sustain what is the goal of this aiib so goal was to sustainable development enhancing regional cooperation encourage private investment and all so india roughly had around 8.4 uh, 4 billion dollar in it so uh, we will see that how much india has taken to so we can imagine the stake that india has in aiib so the non regional nation can also become the member of aiib like it is not like that uh, only asian country can get a membership of it non asian like non regional nation can also become a part of it like if we see germany which has 4.2% of 
voting right with a share right with the germany so how this non sovereign body can also become member of see non regional members can also become a member of that bank but how non sovereign body can also become a member to formation of a non sovereign body like suppose if it is in india and in india there is one organization running between india so this organization can become also a part of or a member of that aiab unless and until india should be a part of it if india is not a member under aii b then that non sovereign body can also not become a member of that aiib okay that is the main that is the layman explanation so canadian pension fund like the canadian um, canadian pension fund any other fund or pension of another countries if any countries have some fund kind of issue uh, fund kind of things organization so they can also become a member of a given where the condition is that the parent country should also be a member like if the canadian pension fund will become uh, want to take a membership of aiib then canada should also be a member under aiib then only this non sovereign body can take a membership ultimately no parent should be a member of that bank aiib okay so it means individually they can also become a part of this bank but they can become the member when you already have the existence of the parent company as the member of aib non regional national loans can be taken so countries not present in the region if asia like if it is not in the asia so for them 25% loan can be like uh, will be can be uh, given and for the asian it is around 20 it is the 75% and loan is provided for what loan is provided for energy transport water urban development and all if you want the loan for those kind of development and regions so you can take that loan for asia it is 75% for non asian it is 25% so china is the largest shareholder as i explained with respect to the voting right also then india after china there is india that is the second largest then russia then germany germany is a uh, non regional nation so right now even russia we can say that so right now aiib has more than 100 countries as a membership and out of the total loans generated from the development purpose is 20 billion loans 20 billion loans is targeted for the development purposes and see in that 20 billion 6 billion has gone to india only that is around 30% 30% loan of that development is going to india only so see how india is taking benefit for it so this money went to such as bangalore metro rail power to all like andhra pradesh and all these loans were utilized so india is getting benefit from this uh, bank okay so what are the concerns and the way forward so since it is a china led bank then it becomes a china dominated and we know that we don't have a good relation with china but ultimately now we are getting benefit from it we are utilizing it so since it is a china led bank then it comes with a china domination where the china has a motive of one belt one road initiative of china that is threatening other countries to become the part of it if you join in this initiative then only we will give loan to you this kind of condition now again same thing is happening like with the world bank what is happening there is a domination of usa usa is telling you have to follow the policy of us then we will give you loans otherwise no similarly for the asian development bank that uh, asian development bank that japan is like if you follow the policies of the japan it is dominated by japan so then only you will get loan otherwise not similarly in this case aiib we are seeing that china domination is happening because of the major stakeholders china is threatening other countries become a part of this one belt one road initiative then only we will give loan otherwise no loan so that kind of scene we have concerns for us and we have to overcome for those issues otherwise we should come out of it but right now it is not because we are getting benefit from it and india is also a founding member of the second largest share so india can also play a major role in tackling with those kind of concerns and the issues so other concerns is with this one aib that a sort of alignment aib with an existing financial institution they also lend money on the same parameter as like other banks do at world bank and all okay so the difference is that if you have a good relation with the usa that is the same parameter same parameter is falling like earlier in the world bank if you have a good relation with the usa you will get money similarly with the china similarly with the japan like the uh, usa has the world bank japan has the asian development bank and china is falling at the aib all are falling the same parameter there is nothing difference between them it was formed 
to get over rid of the domination of USA and Japan but ultimately this AIIB also get dominated by China so it is the same parameter nothing difference so it is something called that is we are moving from one pillar to the another post nothing else so what is the way forward so world multilateralism and transparency should be there that world multilateral means like all should have the same power working as a mutual respect and existence of powerful countries in a peaceful manner all should be developed all countries should be developed all countries should get a better health facilities and all and transparency should be there but it should be a mutual respect it should not be like some domination should be there if you are following that condition then only we will give loan so we should not give such kind of hurdles or conditions for any country to prosper okay so this was all in this lecture i hope you have liked this video please like and subscribe your subscription is a form of payment for me it is a new channel i need your support please give your suggestions if you have if you want any on video lecture demand so please feel free to ping on my twitter handle thank you